Hello everyone, great to connect again through God Life and it's great to uh, go through the Bible again this year, uh, all together, the entire Bible and thanks for joining me and we're doing it together and uh, please let me know right now where you're watching from, leave the location, I love to uh, hear from you and connect with you all over the world and as we go through the Bible, we're in Numbers chapter 9, it's an incredible passage and one of my favorite phrases is move with the cloud. Now the Israelites were in the wilderness and they had rebelled against God, but God is good and gracious and he will continue to lead you even if you've made some bad decisions in the past. God is good like that. And as they are in the desert, uh, move with the cloud means God's presence was leading them and guiding them as they go through with a literal cloud. They would look to the cloud and sometimes the cloud would stay, sometimes the cloud would move. And the Bible says when the cloud stays, they stay. And when the cloud moves, they move. And it was a very tangible reminder that God personally guides us through difficult times. Maybe you're in a wilderness right now, financial, or maybe a, in terms of health or relationships or marriage, you feel like you're in the wilderness, but God will meet you right there in the wilderness and he will guide you and you can trust him. Now the key is that God has more wisdom than we do, so we need to look to God for his wisdom. And God can handle any situation, but we need to trust him and be humble enough and be teachable enough to look to him. Let me ask you, how is God guiding you right now? Please leave a comment. Uh, what are the big decisions that you're facing? And we want to pray for you. And sometimes God said move and they weren't ready to move. Sometimes God said stay when they wanted to move. And there'll be times when uh, you might want to stay in a relationship or location longer, but God says move. And there's other times when you want to move. Maybe you think, oh, I'm going to try a new church or I'm going to you know, make a big decision and move and change. And yet God hasn't released you. So it's very important to stay when God says stay and go when God says go because he has wisdom and the Bible's clear in James 1.5, he will give wisdom to anyone who asks him for wisdom. Uh, Dave, I see you're joining us from Johannesburg. Excellent. Very from Brazil. Outstanding. Uh, it's great to connect around the world. The theme today is move with the cloud. Look to the Lord. We all need his wisdom. It doesn't matter how many years you know God or how many degrees you have or if you've been to college. Every day, the Israelites had to look to the cloud and move with the cloud. It's an intentional decision and involves faith. All of our decisions involve faith, and we need to know that God is personal, God is good, God is real. Again, leave your situations uh, in the comments about how God has guided you in the past and where you need guidance today. We're going to pray for you, and, uh, and let's pray right now. God, thank you how you lead and guide us. Thank you, just like the Israelites were in the wilderness, and they would move with a cloud. God, you know when we should stay. You know when we should go, and we trust you today. We look for wisdom beyond our own. We lift up our eyes to the hills, and we give you praise, God, for guiding us so well. And thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. If you've never put your trust in Jesus, make that decision today to follow Jesus. Let him be the Lord of your life and your Savior. And uh, he died for your sins. He's risen. And it's so exciting to live each day with Jesus. Make that decision today and let us know in the comments you made that decision. Also, uh, if you like this video, there are many other videos to help you grow in your faith. Go to God Life TV. Go to God Life TV, check out all the videos. My name is Jesse, I live in America. Love to connect and pray with you. And uh, thanks for taking this time today. And uh, let's continue to follow Jesus together as we read through the Bible. Again, go to God Life TV.